Hello and welcome back to another episode of Paul Dickoff. I mean, delay kickoff. <laughs> That's why you asked me to do the intro. Yep, absolutely. Um, and today, as I say, welcome back to another episode of Calais Dickoff. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, cracking intro that. Yeah, maybe we should rebrand it mm. like that. Yeah. Oh, well, speaking of rebranding. Speaking of rebranding, we'll do that at the end. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, as you can see, well, you can't see. You can't see. That that's part of the rebranding. As you can maybe. tell. By no um no loud party. loud co co presenter. We are on our on our ones today, me and Chaz it's just me and Chaz in the booth today. Um we have no guest presenter, all the boys have gone off because it is reading week. So No, it's because they're either ill or hungover. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um nineteen percent hungover. Or I'm zero percent because I didn't go out last night because I'm sensible. And boring. And boring. If you Sorry, saw, if you saw, no, if I'm you eating Tic Tacs at the minute, so yeah, we've got Tic Tacs on the go. Yeah, we've got Fresh mint. Mm. Bit pro- bit of promotion. No. Um, if I if you saw the message I sent you, would you have actually come out? Um, I mean it's a bit late. Yeah, but, but it's all quite spontaneous. Have, yeah, I might have. Okay, brilliant. Right. Right, let's actually get on with why we're all here. And go on to this week in the news of the footballs. Um, Bulgaria, back to the racism. Bulgaria have been received, received too much stadium yes. ban and £65,000 fine for race abuse against England. Did Which you know Nicholas Bentner was once fined yep. £80,000 because he wore Paddy Power boxers? Which... Just shows, just just shows UEFA how no useless UEFA are at FIFA. coping. I mean, I'm not... Obviously, UEFA. I don't want to slander them, but that is disgraceful. It's despicable. Mm. They More should be done to combat racism. And the fact that that... What is that, what is that for? This? Yeah. Dumb fit. I don't know. It, it's normally unplugged. All oh, right. I think. Wait, I don't know. I think it goes down into the control room, to be fair. So if we plug that in, we'll probably be speaking to the world. <laughs> let's get it in, then. Yeah, let's get no, it I'm in. Put delay kick off Speaking worldwide. to the world? Um, <laughs> Not sure no, that, uh, how that works. But honestly, no, it's um, shocking, really, from Bulgaria. UEFA, but and Bulgaria. Bulgaria will be laughing now, and they'll, they'll probably do it again. Because True, that is true. It's I mean, two stadium ban, I mean, whatever. This, it's a basic fine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's a pound light, pound land um, fine, which is you know, yeah, it's little droplets of spit on like the microphone. Brilliant. From uh, whoever was in there last. So, thank not you. Not you. <laughs> not you. Not me. Not you. It wasn't me. Are you sure? Definitely not me. Okay, whatever. I don't th- spit when I speak, Chad. Come on, man. Okay. Absolute. Um, Filth. Nathan Jones sacked a Stoke City manager. Yeah. I was quite that's surprised. Com- that's coming off of the bat. That that's I straight d- off the news reel. Yeah, I genuinely, I, w- I was quite surprised by that because I thought they were doing quite well recently. They got obviously got the win against Swansea, win against Fulham. Uh, I think they lost at the weekend, and obviously a second from bottom. I think is about five points, five points from safety. So um, I think, mate, yeah, I'd have done it sooner though. Yeah, <coughs> teams sort to do this thing when um. The manager's, like, on a really bad run. Yeah. And they have, like, one or two good results, and then they just sack them anyway. Yes, yeah, it's, it's quite inexplicable, to be fair. I thought, That's I thought weird. Jones was doing quite well. But, um... I don't think clearly, he really turned Clearly, he was properly. not held in the esteem of the Stoke City owners. I'm not sure who owns them anymore. I can't yeah. remember whether it's the same people that know when Kudus was in charge or not, but... Uh, I, I don't really know, to be perfectly honest. Mm. But, uh, either way... Um, do you want to go on to the next bit of news? Uh, yeah, just, um... Who do you think could go to Stoke City? Um. Oh. Uh. Pff. Well, looking at the available I managers, th- Mourinho could, Allegri could. <laughs> you know. Oh. I mean, it's possible. Uh. No, I could see Pulis going back there. Could you? Yeah. I I genuinely could see Pulis going back there. Yeah. It is possibly. Um. Do you think? Would you say Stoke is a Premier League club? Are they a Premier League club um, in the Championship? They, they, like Leeds, the they kind established of them. themselves in in the Premier League in recent years, but I wouldn't say they're up to a level of Leeds. Yeah. Um. I'd just say, 
they obviously they've um, established themselves in the Premier League. Obviously, they got the Europa League at one point, didn't they? Yes. Um, I'm not sure who's playing for him then, but uh, I think a lot of bad buys for Stoke sort of let them down with uh, signing Bojan, signing players like Bojan, Zimmer. Mm. Bojan was didn't want to so play. No, not Zimmer. Wimmer, Wimmer. Kevin Wimmer, Wimmer uh, from Zimmer. Tottenham. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, that was a terrible. That was a terrible deal. Um, and. Unfortunately, the players just didn't want to play for the badge, like Saido Berahino, obviously. Um, <laughs> Glenn Johnson, I think, did an interview and said, came out and said, oh, Berahino, you could just tell he didn't want to play. Like He'd never put 100% in. He was just there for the money. Dodgy. Dodgy, mm. dodgy players. Um, Richard Keogh, Neo, sacked by Derby following the drink-driving incident. Yeah. Um, Standard. That was kind of expected, yeah, was really, ex- wasn't it? I was expecting that, to be fair. I, was, I wasn't like... I, I wasn't expecting him to be sat. Why did he get sat? Yeah, what what Mason he Bennett and Tom Lawrence? Yeah, Mason Bennett and Tom fined. Lawrence. Were, I think we covered that a few were weeks fined ago. And driving the cars, and they've been ordered to do 180 hours of community service or something, unpaid work. Hmm. Why is Keo been sacked? I don't know. He's the club captain. True. Um, I think that's probably ha- why. Yeah, it had because a, yeah. it looks so bad on the club yeah. when the captain's been implicated yeah. in a scandal like that. Yeah, I mean it's been a fantastic week for club captains, as we'll get onto in a minute. But, yeah. Um, yeah, but. Um, yeah, if you're the ca- club captain, you're doing stuff like that. And another thing, these fines, like going back to Bulgaria and getting Sorry, um, I heard that. That was me cleaning my mic. Getting the um Mason Bennett and Tom Lawrence, the the footballers, they earn a lot. I mean, the fines yeah, yeah, aren't yeah. really. It's a dent in their wage. So I think I stuff like this getting sacked is is the way to go forward. Yeah, no, obviously absolutely. it's not good yeah. when someone gets sacked, but if they no, do no, something no, not at as all. bad I as what can't see, they've done. If Keo goes anywhere, it will be Lincoln City, or because it obviously Shackles true. there. True, true. And they had a bit of a formidable partnership yes. with Derby. Uh, it was, it was or good. he could go to Luton, who who are Luton. really in need of like a defender, like the Championship yeah. quality Keo. Yeah. Or he's a, he's a good, he could he's a go good to defender. Sunderland. He could. He's a he's a good defender. Yeah, absolutely. If he. I, if he if he went to Norwich, even yeah. like one of the relegation Premier League teams, he'd fit yeah. in perfectly. He's oh yeah, he's not absolutely. Be out of no, of course. He's he's old. That's the issue. But no, he old could but go experienced. And yeah, he's, <coughs> he's done excuse me, crikey, what's that? I've never seen it go to that that high before. It literally went. If there was a ten, it would have been on it. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, is, is was that like, you speaking, or was that me? That was just your cough. Everything else is fine. <coughs> yeah, not better. Yeah, brilliant. <coughs> yeah. We kind of want, RIP headphone yeah, users. We kind of want the viewers to stay, uh, like viewers, listeners, yeah, whatever. Course, whatever but, um, no, as I was saying, I think Portsmouth for him with the shot. So basically, Lincoln to link up with Shackle, Sunderland because they need a defender after releasing Leuven's, and they need a solid defender anyway. Um, Portsmouth link up with Kenny Jacket, who's yeah. obviously, yep, yep. and they are in need of a defender like Keo. Yes, uh, Le- Le- Luton, Le- I'd put down. And Arsenal, <laughs> they, they he probably improved yeah. their defence. Of course he would. Um, Stevie Wonder could improve their defence. Yeah, he could. He, he genuinely could. Um, I'm trying to think. Maybe QPR as well. I, I think they're. The, I'm a big fan of QPR. I think they're the. Yeah, I know you are. Adel Tarap back in the day, you know. Yeah, Charlie uh, Austin. I think they are. Yeah. Um, I think I think they are the five sides that Keo will go to. Yes, absolutely. Unless he retires altogether, because he is what thirty four, thirty five now. It's, that's probably the most logical explanation. Mm, I think. I think he would, probably would. Um, going from one club captain to another club captain who wasn't too pleased to be hearing booze. Um, Granite Jack has been offered counselling for uh, after Arsenal fans abused him after he came off the pitch. Um, so basically, what the situation yeah, was was he was subbed and he threw the captain's arm back because he's obviously the captain. Yeah. Threw it at Bamiang. And like on the floor, which is a bit disrespectful. Yeah, but disrespectful if you're, to your yeah, club, yeah. If you were running off, maybe it made sense. Then he walked off, booze, 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 booze. Well, there was cheering, I should say, mm, yeah. when his number came up and he was going off for Sacco, I think. And then they, they were booing him as he was walking to the touchline. And then he cut his ear, told him to F off, and it's just toxic. And then yeah. he's released a statement saying that uh, the he's abuse sorry, over the But he's had people abusing his family and that. Yeah. And I think that's absolutely despicable from Arsenal fans. I think Arsenal fans any Arsenal important. fans listening, I know we're a small podcast at the minute, but I think if there are any listening, you should be ashamed of yourself. If, you sh- if you've 
if you can not not like oh no no Chaz honestly not all Arsenal if they fans, can not every no, single not Arsenal, Arsenal fans are doing it yeah. but if if a fan base can be that toxic true that yeah. they can they can take away from the good things that the other good fans do and they can just hurl abuse at players and tell them that that their their kid once should die their yeah, wife was, should die. Was, yeah, it was wife should, should die. die. Kids should, yeah, kid should get cancer and it's, stuff like that. That is in and no that's way disgraceful. Yeah. You are that is so low from yeah. a fan base. That is so low. Yeah, um, it's and disgusting. There was the video. And it really, it really doesn't show well on Arsenal's fan base, and that's a shame because there's a few good Arsenal fans out there. There's quite a, quite a lot of them are very good. Yeah, uh, well, of uh, Arsenal. Did you see the Aubameyang video? Was oh yeah, he got racially abused as well. And it, well it was I'm not sure if it's race racially abused. I don't, I don't think it was. I just think he was abused uh, as he was. I heard he was abused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. is without Aubameyang. Emery's not at Arsenal. Yeah. And the Arsenal, I he saved him. I do think, though, Take a lot of the yeah. problems at Arsenal do come down to Emery. And apparently he's getting um, the mick taken out of him now. With, they're all going up to him and saying, oh, good evening, and stuff like that. Because obviously he says yeah, it. Yeah, that's just... And um, get all, the, all the younger players are doing it as well. And I've never been a fan because he was at PSG and he didn't yeah, really do anything yeah, there. You can't... Well, what can you do at PSG? If you don't win the league at PSG, which he failed to do in his first yeah. season, and Monaco won it. True. Uh, with all those millions, PSG should be Champions League semi finalist minimum. Oh yeah, absolutely. But then therefore, uh, he didn't even beat. He didn't get through to the knockout rounds because he couldn't beat. I forget who they went out to that season. Who was it? They went out to was it? It was Real Madrid. Wasn't mm. it? After si- after signing Neymar for all that money, uh, he's got no control over his players at all. As proven at PSG, proven at Arsenal now because of Shaka. Mm. Um, there's been a lot of bust ups at Arsenal. I think uh, there was a few bust ups at PSG while he was there, Cavani yeah. and Neymar, etc. It's it's so I've, he's got no control over his players. I don't think he can seriously be considered yeah. Arsenal manager anymore. I think he'll probably be sat by the end of the season. Mm. I th- but uh, saying that, Arsenal, if you put an I don't know, an Allegri, that's the first name that came to my mind. Yeah. Mourinho is linked, but I don't think it will happen. If you put an Allegri or someone like that in there, Arsenal can do bits. Oh, they've yeah, got they've got a, they've got a fantastic knows what he's team. Doing. Yeah, Una Emery just seems clueless. Arsenal. Put the def- put the defense behind maybe one mid- or two midfielders, mm. but you've got Martinelli, brilliant young striker, Abamio, yeah. of course, Lacazette. Yeah. Again, situation with Ozil, brought him off after. Ha- yeah, and he was the most. He was honestly, yeah. I watched that game, and he was the being the best player for Arsenal in that yeah. game, other than it's, Martinelli. What well, we don't know what goes but on. Even behind even Martinelli doors, just scored tappings. Look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, Chaz. They they were tappings. Yeah. If he wasn't well, scoring those, a lot of a lot of Harry Kane goals have happened. You have to be there, <coughs> right place, right time. Yeah, exactly. Um, he's young, so it's always good. Um, yeah. Um, speaking of Arsenal fans, um, uh, DT's hat is stolen. Yeah, so, someone um, stole the hat. It's just an amnesty for DT's hat. If you can, if you can really come back. Yeah. The DT, of course, the Arsenal the thief fan. can come back and give DT his hat back. Then that would mm. be much appreciated. I'm not sure whether it was returned to him after it was stolen. I love, but, it, um, love it. I'm gonna watch it again. One, the one clue, the one clue we have is uh, is the the hand that appeared and it, it sort of teased the hat and then it took it, it, it swiped it off his head, and DT and Robbie were left clueless and yeah. uh, obviously I, there's an amnesty now for his hat because I'm sure I'm sure he hasn't got that back because he was wearing uh, a different hat in the recent video. I reckon it was Claude. Uh, I don't think Claude can move that fast. True. <laughs> <laughs> it is the yeah, funniest there, video there, I think is. I've ever seen. Um, like that for me beats no context hand any day of the week. <laughs> it's literally, but yeah, in all yeah, seriousness, no, the yeah. hat's gone, and yeah, yeah, that's really upsetting. Um, garden open to com- garden open to commemorate Leicester City chairman after the helicopter crash one year old. I think that's a very nice thought. Yes, yeah, I do. I nice do very much. Idea. Obviously, it was so tragic. Yeah, it's very tragic. It's obviously park. respectful to Vichai's memory as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, and he was very popular with chairman, of course. Oh, yeah, he was absolutely. there when Leicester won the Premier League. Yeah, and he took the Champions League a mid-table championship side. To Champions League quarter-finals. Quarter yeah. Yeah, yeah, so obviously we're not going to go into because that was last year but it's nice yeah, that yeah, they've yeah. It's nice the, that they've done it's that it's a nice yeah. garden as well I mean it's, you, mm. you can just build statues that's tradition yeah, but exactly, yeah. gardens that's good in my uh, opinion yeah I think it's very it's, it's nice so yeah that's nice um, 
finally, um, League Cup results slash draw. Well, well, we won't really go through the on results. this topic, yeah. Uh, okay. If any Villa fans want to comment below, like, we literally played our 23s, and you literally played, like, I think John McGinn came on, who's, like, your best player, but he's obviously off the boil at the minute because he's just, well, you know, the magic wears off, doesn't it? And mm. clearly, it's, it's all about luck for him, like a strike versus Sheffield Wednesday uh, <laughs> last season. That was very lucky. Um <laughs> He didn't in any way deserve that team of the season last season. Um, and I'm just going to say, yeah, do, you literally, yeah, you, you, you say, you say, oh, it wasn't our cup final. How can Wolves fans say it was your our cup final? But you let a smoke bomb off when you scored. And then and then all of your fans were so excited, but you were still outsung by Wolves, who, who had gone up there, not expecting to win because we put 23s out. Gone up there. Yeah. We literally... <laughs> We put we put our under twenty three sides out. We had sixteen year old Kem Campbell starting up front. Never heard of him. I, I'm gonna oh, look he's at the baller, team. He's a baller. He's a serious baller. But you you start you you go on. Oh yeah, all these players we're playing a second fiddle. Most of the players we started haven't had a sniff at the first team this season. They haven't had a sniff. Catrone, Neto, Vinogri, Villahelo, Rudy, 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 Rudy. Yeah, the Vallejo. M- McGinn terrible. came on in eighty first minute. Terry Taylor, Terry Taylor. Terrible. Ashley Seal, I've heard of him. Yeah. yeah. The only person I've heard on your bench is Patricia and Ashley Seal. Yeah, if we didn't have any big names in our bench. Why do you think you? Why do you think Nuno put that team out? So we could go out of the cup. I think he saw it as a blessing in disguise. Maybe because Arsenal on um, the weekend. Yeah, exactly. Blessing in disguise. And Europa you know? League, maybe. Europa like, League, yeah. Yeah, yeah we just need to be out of the cups, really. Yeah. Yeah, we need to be out uh, for Europe and... Prem, I think the Prem's always got to be our focus, but unfortunately that's not that's not looking like it at the minute. But um, yeah, if any Villa fan wants to comment two one two one whatever, like honestly do it mm. because I literally I saw that squad and I thought this is their cup final in it really. That, like <laughs> let's let them have it, and then we'll see who the real winner is next Sunday. Oh, thank you, mate. Thank you. Well, I'll oh, just let me th- thank you. Let me have that um that little uh, rant. Oh, I wouldn't I've, call it a rant. I'd just I've, say it's a I've, statement, isn't it? We're eight episodes in, and I've learned that if I've learned that no wor- Villa fans are going to come yeah. back to this podcast. If the I've words Aston and once. Villa come out your mouth, I instantly have to turn this red slider. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, it's the blue one. To be fair, I'm on the red. Yeah, one that's true. Yeah, it's a promotion. Well, it is a demotion technically. Yeah. Well, I'm saying because my phone's on charge. Anyway, so I can look at anyway, the League Cup draw: <laughs> Everton who beat Watford versus Leicester who yeah, beat. I hope Everton win that. Who be Burton Albion? Burton Albion thank you. Um, and uh, Liverpool. All the, all the Leicester fans are raving. Oh, Yuri Telemans, Yuri Telemans, Yuri Telemans. Realistically, if Yuri Telemans isn't putting in a performance against Burton Albion, why did you spend forty million on him? True. He's a good player, though. Yeah, he's a good player, but they're all raving. They're all raving about his performance against Burton midweek, and I just thought, why are you spending forty million on Yuri Telemans? True. If you don't think he can put in a performance against Burton Albion. That, that yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. With you. Um. We'll get onto that one last because that's um, Oxford United who beat Sunderland on penalties. Yeah, on penalties, five And four. Man City who beat Aston Villa. Do you want to Southampton? Um, <laughs> on <laughs> I was going to say, mate, we just had a massive conversation about Aston Villa. I, yeah, I do apologise. Uh, no. I'm not with it today. Uh, Man United who beat Chelsea, thanks to Marcus Rashford's super goal, and Colchester uh, who beat Crawley. Um, so United host Colchester, nice easy, nice easy draw. Well, I'm not going to say Colchester. Easy. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm also nice to see change. Colchester get into the semi final. I am actually fed off of these Man United memes. Though. They're just so boring. Yeah, like Man United are doing badly, so people make memes of it. Man United are doing well, people make memes of it. True. Man United are doing average, people make memes of it. True. You, literally, it's just horrible for United fans, and it's getting annoying for like neutrals as well. Because the it's one thing just that so me annoying is. seeing oh Man United, Man United in your feed, and you're just like oh my god, shut up! They're doing well at the minute. Yeah, leave it. It's not funny anymore. True. It's like the it's like the Lingard's a young prospect joke. It's yeah, just that completely. That, it's that really so dead. Me. Yeah, it's so dead. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and the final one, which we'll get is getting on to Liverpool, who beat Arsenal in a goal fest. Yeah, but Jurgen Klopp said he might forfeit that, didn't he? We'll get on to that. And then they're playing Aston no, Villa. No, he won't. No, I'm going to check. They're playing Aston <laughs> Villa, shocked. who swept aside Wolves' A-team 
two one. Um, yeah, absolutely. Of course, uh, two ruddy clangers uh, means we, we were swept aside and dominated by Aston. Still a big club, Villa. Want to see? Got in an argument with a Newcastle fan last night. It was, uh, it was quite did you fun. actually? Yeah, I did. Do you want me to read you the comments? If there's no swearing. Well, there's no swearing. That's weird for a Geordie. Yeah, I know. He was commenting on a West Midlands fan group. Um, why is he West Midlands fan? Why is he on a West Midlands fan group? I'm a top fan on this group, Chaz. So um, I put. Have you promoted the podcast on there? I mean, I can. Why haven't you done it yet? <sighs> but do it right now. Oh no, we're out of the cup at the hands of Aston Still a big club, Villa. No, oh, so you've stolen it. Uh, so um, he went. Oh, they're a bigger club than you, lot. And I said, Ashley and son, as you were. And he goes, <laughs> Your crack is belter, mate. Enjoy your golden years when your phase dies out and you're back to being. Dung. Can't swear on it, unfortunately. You said they weren't any swear words. Don't, and I said, don't worry, son, I'll enjoy them. I'm sure your glory is will be back soon. After all, he's got to go to Middlesbrough and get something, if you know what I, I mean. And he goes, what are you on about, lad? And I went, I'll let you figure out, but after all, you're a big new Newcastle fan and that. And when it comes to you, please feel free to come back to me. And he goes, oh, I know what it means. I'm saying how irrelevant it is. So I went, if, you, if we're talking about irrelevant that a possible definition could be a Newcastle fan commenting in a West Midlands f- football rivalry group. And then that. he said, I've messaged you to show how wrong you are claiming Wolves are bigger than Villa. And I said, actually, mate, you've commented a fact which I know as they've won multiple league titles in a European Cup. I never said Wolves are bigger than Villa. I said Villa aren't as big as they were, but it's fair to say they're still considered a big club. I never mentioned Wolves in my original comment. You've got him mixed up, I'm afraid, mate. Oh, well. And he just hasn't responded. And that was last night? And that was last night, yeah. God, you just keep you baiting that. You like, just keep reeling him in with this. I need, yeah, to, I need, I to, really I need to do more Instagram abuse. I Not really abuse, wound him up. I need to do that. I need to find a United. Is it an Instagram page? Uh, no, it's a Facebook page. Obviously, I'll be... Yeah, like, sure, you can have some TikToks. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Um, <laughs> really kind of you. you yeah. Go. Anyway, I'm really happy I've just caught that. Um... <laughs> this isn't an ASMR podcast. Anyway, we've been talking about this point for literally like solid five minutes. Liverpool Aston Villa might not be played up at all because um, of Liverpool's Club World Cup. Um, they're obviously going to the Club World Cup, so they've got league games, maybe a League Cup game if they want to play it. So I guess that it could be rescheduled. They're having to sort stuff out. Maybe move a couple of league games around. It's all about rejiggling. Klopp says maybe they can um, leave the EFA Cup. So that gives, I believe, Aston Villa a bye, which, of course, could have been moved. So mm-hmm. Aston Villa go to the semi-finals because they are the biggest club in Birmingham. Mm. No, they are. Yeah, I know they are. Um, <laughs> fact. fact. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to have you never heard there. of Sully Holmors? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that was not a swear word. That, that was one. a swear word. It was not a swear word. That means I can say what he said. Go on, then say it. Shit. Yay. You had a swear. Good. Lovely job. Boom. I wasn't going for that. I was going to, but we'll go for it anyway. So, yeah. Um, if Liverpool uh, forfeit the cup competition, do you think it's fair Villa get a bye, or do you think maybe Arsenal should? Arsenal should. I get, I get the fact that Liverpool have beaten them, but it was on penalties and it was five all. You right? Yeah, kind of tic tac. Yeah, well, you're yeah. not really point. Oh, hang on. Um, we'll move on to the results, the big ones of the of the day, while we tic tac up. Move around. How many? Uh, seven. Okay. Just three, please, mate. No, you said seven now. No, three. Fuck the stuck. Three. That's another swear word. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's one swear more times than I've burped there. Yeah, that's saying something. That is. With, pod's not over yet. Um, this, this is why we need a third person. <laughs> um, yeah, we really do. <laughs> to stop us. Um, um, results. We'll see, so, um, soul shower on that, yeah. Hmm? Get a soul shower in as a third person. Hmm, I wish. Yeah. I uh, really appreciate the efforts of the club. Uh don't do accents. That's probably the one thing we shouldn't do. <laughs> um, um, on to the results. Uh, Southampton 9. No, no. <laughs> sorry. They wish. Southampton 0. They wish. Southampton 0. 0. No goals. Leicester. You're hearing this right. 9. That's not 1. That's not 2. That's 9. 9. 9? 
Two hat tricks for Vardy and Perez. Chilwell, Tielemans and Madison got a goal. I would just like to add on a point. Mm. Fact of the day. Mm. There was more Premier League hat tricks last weekend than the whole of the 2006 and seven Premier League season. Pulisic, Perez and Vardy. Vardy. Only three, but there wasn't that many in 2006-07. I think it's 06-07. I'll have a look. I'll have a look because I liked it on Twitter. Also, another fact, well, one facts, because I follow um, this guy who, like, does the most craziest facts. Hey. Um, hmm? Hey. Duncan Alexandra. Alexander. I don't know why I said that. Um, where's, th- where's his election one? Um, come on, come on. Here it is. No one born since 1984 has ever voted in a general election when Chelsea weren't top of the Premier League. Yeah, I don't understand that. I saw that fact. I didn't understand it. What do you mean? No one born before 1984. So every time there's been a general election since 1984, Chelsea have always been top of the Premier League. But they're not. But they might be. But I don't think they will be by December 12th. Anyway, we're not here for Brexit. We're Brexit. It's not even Brexit. Well, it technically is. I don't know Um, anymore. It's all to do with Brexit, isn't it? Um, Anyway. Don't get me started on Brexit. (laughs) 9-0. No. 9-0. Obviously a good result for Southampton. (laughs) <laughs> um, I thought you could say good No, if you look at it one way, yeah. If Vardy and Perez weren't playing, it would have been 3 0. <laughs> yeah. So if Leicester just didn't have any players, it would have been 0 0 because Southampton yeah. probably still couldn't score in an open goal. Um, but, yeah. Um, biggest away win in top flight history. Yep. Not just Premier League. And uh, match the biggest win in Premier League mm. history. United 9 Ipswich 0, and then we have that. Yeah. Uh, can't see United winning any further games. 9 0. Yeah. Yeah, can you? No. Not even a Pogba hat trick? Not even a Fred hat trick? Has Pogba ever scored a hat trick? I don't think so. Um, I'm not sure. It's an interesting stat. It's not a stat. Yeah, but if, you, if I bet someone hears this and goes, oh, I'm going to look that up, and then they'll say, when Pogba last scored a hat trick, no one existed, and it'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, good one, mate. Last yeah. time Pogba scored a hat trick, dinosaurs were in the crowd. Yeah, isn't it? Um... <laughs> I probably weren't around when dinosaurs were in the ground. Yeah. Um, obviously, going on to the next result, because I really can't bother to talk about Southampton. Yeah, like it's everyone's spoken about it Everyone's now. spoken about it. It's, it's a week on, really. Yeah, we're doing this. On. Well, it is, actually, because we're doing this on a Friday. Cause yeah, it's literally timing. a week on. Uh, and no doubt Leicester's social media manager will put a post up tonight. Remember this a week ago, today? <laughs> and then two weeks. And then three everyone weeks, will be like... Weeks. It's a positive result, though. It's a good result, yeah. It is a good result. Anyway, Newcastle um, won, Wolves won. Do you want to rant about this? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, um, was this? Did you mention this to the your Newcastle fan in the Facebook group? Oh no, I didn't know. Yeah. That's probably a better result for Newcastle, to um, be perfectly honest. Yeah, it probably is because we obviously. Well, they Wolves are away, so I guess it's a good we, point. We beat them there last season, um, and then I think Bolly scored in the last game we played with them. To be fair, but he wasn't here this time. Obviously, he's out for a few months now. Because he's damaged his ankle. Um, I don't know that. No, he's, yeah, he's out. He's, that's that's big he's mess out for ages. It's massive mess for us because now we've got a championship defence. I mean, look at our defence. Mm. Cody. Cody's okay. Say you were singing the praises Bennett. of Cody. I wasn't saying. I was just said he should have been in the squad over Mings. Okay. I still stand by it. Okay, <laughs> that can be in the uh, unpopular opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically. Yeah, whatever. Lascelles yeah. and Johnny scored. Thanks, Jamal, for yeah. the six points of fantasy got sent off because he did a ridiculously high tackle on Neves. I saw that. Um, yeah, it was disgraceful, really. Yeah. Um, uh, Liverpool... Oh, no, I've skipped one. Arsenal 2, Crystal Palace 2. We kind of talked yeah. the main thing about Yeah, Jack, yeah, yeah that, but that was a quite a funny game. Mm. Obviously being 2-0 up and then to bottle it. Mm. That happened on Wednesday yeah. when they lost to Liverpool. Pop, pop a dom defence for Arsenal. Yeah, literally, honestly. The, their attack is so strong and then you look at their defence and it's like, Jesus Christ. Yes. It's a very top-heavy team. <laughs> yeah, it is, absolutely. I agree with that completely. Um, uh, Liverpool 2. I've just, been, I've just been told by someone that I have to get someone drunk tonight, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, who are you getting drunk tonight? I don't know. Jamie Ogden. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, just mention the name, that's a great idea. Yeah, shout out Jamie Ogden. Yeah, come to my house, don't. Um, Liverpool to to Tottenham, Tottenham. 1. Jordan uh, Hendo getting on the score sheet, Hendog. Yeah, um, Kane, Kane getting on the score sheet, obviously, with an early early penalty, 47 seconds. Wasn't a penalty. No, it wasn't a penalty, sorry. I keep thinking it was a penalty, you know. Salah's was. Because he only scores penalties, isn't it, Kane? Yeah. Penalties obviously. and tappings. 
<laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, well, that's all the Tottenham fans that's, gone. That, yeah. Um, I'm just slowly making your way I'm through the Premier League. Destroying <laughs> this podcast. I genuinely am. Yeah. Um, I will get the sack from my boss, who is sat directly opposite me. Um, oh, <laughs> I've never thought of it like that. Uh, yeah, Salah obviously scored a pen. Kane. Don't, seven seconds. Don't really in. care really about any of these results, to be no, honest, because it's a week on. Results are just so boring. We'll, we'll just make, yeah, because it's yeah, a week we'll just, on. We'll we'll really over it. Man Norwich United won, three, Man United three. That's a big away win. Yeah. Obviously, you, uh, one three, away three against Three consecutive away wins. Yeah, I'm, I bet you're happy with that, aren't you? I mean, yeah, one I'm of buzzing. them was against Partizan, yeah. but and you know, we're away again. I've just thought, why are we playing away all the time? Yeah, we're playing away all the time as well because we just had Villa away. We had Newcastle away. And now, now we've got Arsenal away. And before that, we had Slovan Bratislava away. Oh, we've got Partizan at home. It's been ages, mate, until we play at home. The next time we play at home is next week against Bratislava at home. That's crazy. And you then we've got Villa at home. Um, I might. I'm oh, no, because sure you're yet. in Barca. No, 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 because I'm in Barca on Monday, Tuesday, oh, Wednesday. Yeah. I, forgot, I forgot what Thursday, Europa League's on Thursday. Might be going to Bratislava. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, no one really cares about the results, to be honest, because we're waiting for Bratislava, right? to have a one-on-one conversation. Yeah. So let's dive in. No pun intended. Get the valve. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Did I've you just say that? Yeah. I'm all about dive it. in. Dive in. I I say it every week. I just don't make a point about it. <laughs> Christ. Hell. Um. Right. That's Brighton were awarded a soft penalty for minimal contact, and it was awarded by VAR. Of course, last last week, it was 90 Premier League games, no VAR penalties given. N- no penalty was given by VAR. This week, loads of penalties given by VAR. Yeah. None of them were probably All correct. Certain, none of them were correct, no. Um, I'd just like to point out, yeah. You can't get a break, VAR. You haven't, you haven't put it in here, but there was a chirp ball in that Newcastle game and we should have got a pen. And it just seems to me, yeah, and this is going to annoy the Liverpool fans now. I know what you're going to say. I know what you're going to say. Whenever Liverpool get a, a shout, and you, and I hope you're listening, mate, because it's true, and you know it is, because you said to me it's true. You said to me it's true. Whenever, him? whenever Liverpool, whenever something goes wrong for Liverpool, oh yeah, we'll give him a pen, we'll give him a free kick. Other than that, Origi foul, it's just been that. And whenever something goes wrong for Wolves, never given it. And whenever something goes right for Wolves, we don't get given the goal. And it's like, oh, <laughs> all right, fuck the I'm pen. sorry, I'm going to come out and say it. Fuck the <laughs> I'm going to swear because it's shit. It's rubbish. Good, get it, exactly get it out of your system. It. No, I'm, I'm, I like swearing. I'm, it's an expansion fr- of vocabulary. I'm, I'm really frustrated at it. It's, it's great. genuinely pissing me off so much. It will get, it will get it's sorted. It's disgraceful. It will get, why don't they have the pitch side monitors? Why don't they use yes, the pitch that, side that, monitors? That pisses me off too. Why don't they? They're it's there. The use thing. them. It's literally as pointless. Just as, yeah. Fucking install them or something. Chuck a bit of money there. Yeah. It's not like you haven't got any. Oh, it's, it's as pointless as a bottle of WKD on a night out. Yeah. Just completely pointless. Um <laughs> So yeah, go for it. Cheers, mate. Um I completely forgot because we well I <laughs> this is a bad podcast because it's a week on, I can't remember anything. Yeah. Man United penalty on James, I do remember this one. This was not a penalty. And as a United fan I can say that. It wasn't a penalty, it was very weak. I was watching it was it. Daniel James, isn't it? So the commentators was like, Eh? Is that a penalty? Not in that extent. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it wasn't. He didn't dive. He is notorious for diving, and he does get fouled a lot because of his skill and his speed. But yeah. um, um, what yeah. Skill? Huh? Nothing. Um, what do you mean, what skill? <laughs> um, F- football. He's good at the football. Palace penalty for James's foul on Ayu. Um, obviously Ayu's goal was actually under a lot of contention as well, and there was like a five-minute delay. Yeah, I um, he gave it. It's the first time I've ever seen a yellow card rescinded. From VAR, I, it must mm. have happened loads of times, but yeah. it's the first time I've ever seen it. Uh, um, it wasn't. It was. I don't think because Chambers' leg comes in, mm. it, and if there's contact, foul. For me, in my point of view, I think Zaha jumps too early, mm. and he goes down. I if I saw that on the pitch side monitor, which referees forget we have, it's just that's not a penalty for me. Mm. No, so, I agree. And I don't that. like agreeing with Arsenal friends because I don't like Arsenal that much, but. And they're okay. Um, but it's they're wrong. And, of course, that Socrates goal that mm-hmm. was disallowed. Yeah. I can't even remember why it was disallowed now. I can't. Do you know what? It's just so bad. Was that Handball? This is a week on and we just don't remember anything. Was that Handball? Normally... Rec- was it... Fa- no, it was a... Um, Chambers... I think it was Chambers. Oh, yeah, Chambers. was uh, having a fight. A foul in the build-up or something. It was 50-50. Mm. Arsenal should have won that 3-0. 
Free, free, free two. Well, no, because then they wouldn't have the penalty for Zaha. And you said the IU goal was contentious. Um, anyway. Oh, no, it was contentious for five minutes and then it was given. I can't even remember. Brilliant. Yeah, this it's is what alcohol does. This is why you don't do podcasts after a night out and a week on from the actual yeah. ends. You don't have an excuse. <laughs> I don't have an excuse. I've got a shit memory. Uh, no, um, this is um funny. Uh, let's have a bit of laughter with VAR, like we've been doing, because um, yeah. in Bundesliga 2, the most watched league in the world, a substitute warming up on the pitch. The most watched league in the world? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Are you sure yeah. it's not just the most watched second league in the world? No, it was a joke. You, we don't have to go this far into it. Oh, Christ. But a sub was warming up on the touchline, doing oh, all yeah, these yeah, squats. Yeah, yeah. And then His name is like Iceman or something. Yeah, someone shoots, goes wide, and sub touches it before it goes out. Everyone does that on Sunday League. Yeah. Chill out. Referee, I'll get a VAR for that. Good penalty. Sorry. Got yeah, problem with that. I'll do it. Down the sixes. I know sixes are probably the same quality, to be fair. Yeah. Um, Bundesliga well, 2 and sixes. Yeah. And that's the Bundesliga 2 fans gone. Um, slowly checking them off. Yeah, one slowly by one. checking off. So They're that's um, so far this pod. That's Villa, Tottenham, uh, Var Arsenal, fans. <laughs> if any, any fan of VAR, uh, Newcastle, um, Southampton, Leicester fans. I've I've peeved off somehow. Have Derby you? as well. Derby. Yeah, I, I said I. I said, Arsenal. You can't. You can't yeah. technically. I don't Man know. United would be here because they agree with me. Cause oh yeah. Um, Liverpool fans. I think I've peeved off, and yeah. now Bundesliga two yeah, fans. So so. It just it just shows that. No one, no one knows what to do with VAR at the moment. Yeah, it's um, literally like this toy you have at Christmas and you don't know how to work. Yeah, exactly. It's like when I got a remote control helicopter and flew it oh my into God. my ceiling. Do it outside. Yeah, but then if I flew it outside, it crashed into a car or something. Mm, I guess. Yeah. Um, but no, I saw. I did see that, and it was what a joke. It was like, what a joke. Mm, yeah. It's funny, Ridiculous. obviously not. <laughs> they scored the yeah. penalty as well. Yeah, I know. It's just a joke. It was a new signing as well, to be fair. He's getting walked up. Yeah. But it's Bundesliga too, so on, no one really cares. He got a yellow card, I think. Mm. Um, time for the big question, mm. which this week is a very um, vague one, but it's good. What is your footballing unpopular opinion? Unpopular opinion. Uh, which is an opinion. Is better than Neves, and no one seems to think this. Mm, okay. Uh, actually, That's weird. Neves is... Overrated. Johnny Otto isn't rated. You told me Paul Scholes was overrated. Yeah, but that was a joke to wind you up. Okay. That's just bosh. To be fair, he, he was overrated mm. in his day. You never lost me from the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bye. Oh, all right. He's out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's going out of the room. Oh, oh, he's not. I've done a, I've done a Mauricio Sarri and I've gone to the door, but I've, I've pulled back. Yeah. League Cup final. <laughs> Kappa. Kappa. Um, yeah. <laughs> unpopular Your opinion Benzema is not is actually quite good <laughs> he has 229 goals for Real Madrid piss off <laughs> Benzema is good mate piss off <sighs> um, no uh, no he's right okay right let's, let's just what's your football and unpopular let's, opinion Charlie other than Benzema let's just clarify the Benzema thing yeah it's not that I don't think he is a good footballer and a goal scorer because he is if he played for a team like Dortmund, I'm happy. Real Madrid are one of the best, biggest teams in the world. Um, yeah. Striker, uh, biggest team in the world, needs to be good. No, ben, I don't think Benzema is good enough for Real Madrid. And I mean, yeah. You really, Get don't, you really don't like him, do you? No. Yeah, just... No, uh, he's a good person, I, I assume. What about Anthony Martial? Overrated? Mm, no. Uh, have you seen, what's your, what's have you seen the stats opinion? though? When he's not playing and when he is playing under Solskjaer, it is so much different. He changes the game. Really? Yeah. What he makes it more shit. No, he I'm makes so it glad much we can better. Swear now. Yeah. It, it's I'm, I'm quite best. happy we can do that to be honest. Yeah. Uh, but don't I mean, know if he's. I'm going to pick us up now, but you know. It's, yeah, mm, it's, that's a shame. It's free roaming in it. Yeah. Um, if Talkspot are listening, we we still warn you. Unpopular opinion: uh, Leicester are overrated. Okay, explain. Yeah. Um, basically, yeah. Who have they played so far this season? What in terms of top? A lackluster Tottenham side. They've Liverpool. lost to the only opposition, the the only good opposition they faced. They didn't beat us on the opening day. And they were lucky to to have a draw with us because that goal should have counted in my opinion. But they should have got. They should have had a win yeah. or draw against United. Everyone they should have had a draw against Liverpool. They yeah, beat Tottenham. They, they lost to United, who are lackluster. Every Every good team that Leicester have faced 
haven't have they, they, they haven't beat other than Tottenham, but Tottenham have been awful this season. They're eleventh now. I, w- I would just like to clarify this though, because less le- it hasn't been a problem in recent years for Leicester against top six because they get results. Yeah. They've got results against Tottenham. But it's against teams like say, Everton and West Ham and mid-table teams, yeah. and they're getting the results. Can I can I say as well? And nine 0 against Southampton. As soon as as soon as they lose a game, everyone will be on Rodgers' back. And Leicester, yeah, I know they might not do it because it's Rodgers and he's quite um, an astute manager. But they yeah. did it to Puel, he did it to Shakespeare, he did it to Ranieri. Uh, they could have done it to Pearson. Right. Uh, they just stopped playing for the manager and it's just, it's, it's sucked. And the fact that I had an argument with a Leicester fan who said, oh, whenever you get, um, whenever Wolves are in trouble, they just get their backs, they've got their backs against the Wolves, they start spending, is abs- it's an absolute so joke. Because 40 million on Yuri Tielemans and you rave about him having a good game against Burton Albion. <laughs> Burton Albion. Ri- you you rave about a forty million player having a good game against Burton Albion, and what's that sound? That's the sound of Burton Albion fans leaving. But I'm um, all due respect to Burton, but if if a forty million player is not playing well yeah, against yeah. them, then you, totally agree. You're shocking, but it infuriates. Uh, it's, me. A, it's a good point you make with the managers. Yeah, I think it was wrong with Ranieri because he did so much with yeah, the yeah, winning, absolutely. Winning the Premier League, he could have kept them up. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's different with Rodgers. I think. With Ranieri, they won the Premier League. That was it. With Puel, there wasn't really a plan. You, you can the see, shit. you can see with Rogers, there's a distinct plan, and Rogers is building something. Yeah. You couldn't see that with Puel. You couldn't see that with Shakespeare. Shakespeare. You couldn't see that with. Mm, I guess you could a little bit with Ranieri because he won the league, but yeah, mm. I don't. But I don't think they will. But they are. Yeah, I mean. They've they're got overrated. a fantastic... I don't think they're overrated. I think they are. I don't think they're I, overrated. I really think they are, Chaz. Because that Southampton side they face were woeful. If they're we look, terrible. I don't know how yeah, we got a draw against them. I know, we should I know. have beaten them. I know, but... We got a draw as well. <laughs> um, but I think... If you look... If you take Arsenal's team, Man United's team, Tottenham's team, and Leicester's team, and made a combined 11 of all them four, a lot of Leicester players would be in there. Who? Johnny Chir- Evans. Chilwell, 100%. It's because okay, United don't have a good left back. Yeah, Shaw, Shaw's, I think okay. Shaw's better than Chilwell. No. Tielemans will probably be in there. Madison will probably be in there. Shaw's injured, isn't he? Yeah. When's he not? <laughs> okay, maybe it was, but they... The, I think, I don't I think know Ozil right. is getting in there. Yeah. Ozil will get in there. That's, that's a point. This is not really an popular opinion, but what are your opinions on Ozil? Do you think he's a good player? Do you think he's a bad player? I don't need to play United needs, you know? He's the sort of player you United actually need. Yeah, in terms of creating chances, absolutely. Yeah, you you could do it, and, and he wor- works his arse off as well on a pitch. Yeah. So, Pog- Pogba, yeah, that's the player that Pogba needs around him. Pogba's always moaning, "Oh, I don't have the players around me," and it's like, mate, yeah, Ozil, Ozil would literally wants to leave Arsenal, but then and then again, the last player that went from Arsenal to United didn't do so well. <laughs> The player before did. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I miss him. Who, Van Persie? Yeah. Yeah, it was quite funny. To be fair. It was yeah. fantastic, Van Persie. Cheers, mate. But, um, yeah, my, I mean, other than Benzema, other unpopular opinions, my old one was I wasn't really rating Firmino. I think I've gone past that now. And No, 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 you can have them all. Oh, I don't want them all. It's fine, I don't care. Well, I um, them all out. Yeah, I, I, I kind of rate Firmino now, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, um, I'd just like, yeah, any Liverpool fans actually out there, yeah, can can you, ex- can you instead of just saying, oh, Firmino creates the chances, um, it's not an insight in any way, I'm, I'm not trying to wind anyone up like I usually am, but can anyone actually explain, yeah, what Firmino does to create the chances? Because I know what it is, but the question is, do the Liverpool fans that are saying, oh, we know what it is that Firmino creates chances, blah, 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 he he creates all the goals. What's he doing to create the chances for Mohamed Salah and Sadio Mane? If anyone can actually answer that, do it. I'd be impressed. Seriously, because the amount of people I've approached and they get, I'll get, they go, oh yeah, Firmino's great. Firmino's great. He creates all the chances. And then I say, oh, how did you do that? And they go, um, well we, um, uh, yeah, um, and I'm like, mate, 
just just know the facts before you can say it. Because yeah, he's a great player because of what he does. But what what's his job? How does he do it? Let me know. Tell me. Okay, that was very yeah. threatening. Um, I'm just trying to think of any other unpopular opinions I have. If there was any ex players I don't really rate. Is there any ex players you don't really rate that go down as legends, but you don't think were were good? Um, Kaka. You look insulted. I'm a big fan of Kaka. Yeah, I know you are. But do you do you do well at Real Madrid? Mm, I guess. Mm. Yeah, one good season at Milan. One good season. At, well, one good season. A few good seasons at Milan. <laughs> one good season here and there. <laughs> he no, went to Madrid. He was good. awful. Uh, by his standards at Milan, he was woeful. Yeah. Do you know what? I just sent this podcast for the unpopular football fan because uh, most of my opinions are really shit. Mm. But they're. It's right. an opinion. Any you're not any wrong. true football fan knows they're true, knows they're right. Yeah. Look, like, most of it is just facts. We'll go. It? We'll go into like ten to seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, I think I'm just trying to think of any managers. Maybe I mean Emre. I Emery's, don't think it's, yeah. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. Mm. No, it's a popular opinion. Um, Tuchel, Thomas Tuchel. Mm. Don't think he did that great at Borussia Dortmund. Obviously signed Julian Sancho though, but that's that is true. Um, um, I, I'm just trying to think, really. Um, Phil Foden, overrated. Yeah, I think that's. I think that is. He's not overrated say. because he hasn't played enough. Yeah, it but can't he is be overrated either. because everyone uh, FIFA have hyped him up so much, giving him a six seventy six rated card <laughs> for what? FIFA's back for what? <laughs> What did he do last season other than play what, one goal 700 Tottenham. minutes in the Prem or something? Yeah, he scored one goal against Tottenham and he gets a 76 rated card. Mm. Morgan Gibbs White gets two assists against Chelsea. Yeah. And what does he get? 70 rated. Phil Foden can join the um, club with the pit side monitors as very underused. Yeah, and um, he can join the club, same club as Paul Scholes and Robin Van Persie who's being extremely overrated. Okay. Well, that's, that's not good. Yeah, but Phil Foden, I mean... A couple of weeks ago, it was like Pep Guardiola brought him on for like four seconds. Yeah, literally. Yeah, like, oh, I've got a sub left. Oh wait, I like Foden apparently. There was that. Get on there the was pitch. that time as well that Pep only named like five players on the bench, and it was like yeah, and Foden yeah yeah. No, just, I'm just making a point. Um, yeah. So I don't think Phil Foden is is. I'm. I hope. I kind of hope he's good for England's sake. I don't hope he's good for Man City's sake. Yeah, well, but. Honestly. He needs. He needs to leave. Not yeah, he, he needs to I've, get out. I'd say loan. I'd if we if we want to see the real Phil Foden, yeah, he needs to get out. Yeah, he genuinely does. I'd say, where where would he go? I'll be Leipzig probably. Could go yeah. to could go to a Spanish team. Could go to Girona. I, yeah, I reckon he'll do like do like Sancho does and yeah. Reese Nelson did. Could go to Girona to be fair if they get promoted back to the mm. La Liga. Um, here's a slightly unpopular opinion. I think. I'm a massive fan of Thomas Muller. I think he's really good. Yeah, he's all right. I, I, I think like, not right. many people rate him that much. To be perfectly no, honest, no, no, he's quite he's quite a standard player for. Bayern I think Munich. I think he's a he do, he's quite a utility player. He does a job. Obviously, when he comes on and, and he plays, he's yeah. Sort of like, where is he playing? Is he playing at false nine? Yeah, he's a centre forward. Sort of, yeah, he's centre like forward, sort, sort of, of centre really. attacking midfielder. He's, he he does the job well. Yeah, in that position, obviously. Make a transition. One of the top scorers at the World Cup, I think. Uh, 2014, obviously, not 2018. But, yeah, um, yeah, you, you can't really fault him. He's got a good work ethic. True. Mm. Um, there's got to be another one. I'm just trying to think. Benzema's probably the main one for me. I'm not the yeah. biggest. Um, and another one is Real Madrid need to treat Gareth Bale and James Rodriguez a bit better because they are ballers like they're so good. Mm. They are good. Oh, everyone knows they're good, but mm. unpopular opinion: international football is good. <laughs> yeah, I'll run with that. No, um, no, I like international football. The thing is with international football, I like it because, like, especially where we are, there's tons and tons, and basically everyone's an England fan, so you're all supporting the same team, and you can always. Yeah. With yeah. club football, you support different teams, but with England, you unite, and it's like let's go. Yeah. It's coming home. 
Which it is. It is coming home, but in the form of rugby. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, saying that, good luck to the rugby boys tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, it'd probably be like Sunday yeah. when this comes out. Yeah. Thank you for... Um, it's a, it kick-off's at nine, isn't it? Yeah, nine in the morning. Thank you for setting such <laughs> a lovely to... kick-off after I have a close. So I'll you be have a close? Work, yeah, I'll be in work till like two tomorrow morning. What time do you start tonight? Five. Nine hours. Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah. But I, I assume it doesn't even get that busy, though. Oh, no. Not we don't want to disclose where you work. Yeah, uh, I work at McDonald's. Mm. But there's McDonald's everywhere in the world. Yeah. So I work at any McDonald's anywhere in the world. Yeah. You just have to find it. Yeah. And then when you see me, please don't yeah. punch me because I know I've wound a lot of you up yeah. today and Apparently in recent episodes. Rumour has it that you are McDonald's Employee of the Month. Oh, I am McDonald's Employee of the Month. Actually, I'll get my gear tomorrow. So um, Your gear? <laughs> yeah, I'll get, I'll get some Employee of the Month um, benefits. Like what? Like a little thing to go over my badge that says Employee of the Month 2019. Like it goes over the top of my badge and it just says Employee of the Month 2019. <coughs> Does it say what month? No. No, no, I don't see it. Was what it month. for October? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, it wasn't because you received it at the beginning of October. For September. Oh, no, it's for September. Sorry, yeah. The Who, who's, get, who's getting it? Who's getting October's? Um, Probably. Probably Harry Harden. I'm not going to lie to you. Harry Harden probably will get it. Um, Do I know Harry? Does he no. go to the toast? No, no. He's he's like 16, mate. Oh, Christ. Yeah, yeah. You um, don't know. <laughs> um, don't. If you're, what, if you're no. listening, Harry Harden, don't go underage clubbing. Yeah, please don't. Yeah. Oh, just one last thing. Um, oh, are we on about what's happening next week? Well, no, I was just going to mention um, my experience last night in the club. Oh, what happened? Well, the song... Classic song comes on, yeah. Char Char Slide. Oh. Everyone loves the Char Char Slide. Everyone loves the Char Char mm. Slide. If you're if you're this per- if you're a person in the club who doesn't do the dance to Char Char Slide, leave the world. Yeah, yeah. Because it is so awkward when you, you have to when it's it. like reverse reverse and you crash into someone behind because they're just too boring not to do the Char Char Slide. Did you get in an argument with someone? Nearly. What did you I say? bumped into so many people last night. Well, I mean, you got to look where you're dancing. No, it's their fault. My dancing spatial awareness is second to none. So it's top. I've got yeah. <laughs> I've got vision like Paul Skulls and Kevin De Bruyne. I have. That's terrible. That. Having a dance, I was overrated player yeah. in the history of the Premier League. How mm. nah, many joking? Obviously, unpopular not. opinion. Peter Andre, Mysterious Girls, a good sh- a good song. Oh, no. no. Mysterious girl, no. wanna get close to you. <laughs> That's a soundbite for anyone who's watching, yeah, that's, listening, uh, whatever. That's it is. also a copyright. <laughs> is it? No, because I sung it. Yeah, you, you performed it. Yeah. So, um, um, next week we won't be here because we're actually having a little bit of a brand refresh. That's what we're and a break. There, but realistically, we're just going on a reading week. But no, we are going to have a brand refresh and you'll see us back on our social channels very soon. Posting more regularly, talking like daily Instagram mm. posts. If you want anything um, suggested, like if you want visual, if you want if us you to record ourselves. If you a social media exactly. manager for delayed kickoff, and just yeah. like I can't be else with run anymore. the Instagram account in well, the Twitter account, account. Can, then literally just hit us up yeah. because we just can't be bothered to. Are we just happy doing the podcast? No, we no, yeah. It's I not mean, that we can't be bothered to. It's just it's bloody stressful. To yes, be at uni and shit like yeah. that. A lot so of things happening you want a at bit the moment. Of experience working in busy, that, busy. Help us grow. Then just honestly let us know, and we'll let you be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll just, give you the details and everything. We'll just say as well, you know. We are at we're students now. We're at university. The workload is intense. It's going to get even more intense. Yeah. But we will try, try our best to do our do also, a weekly podcast. A, we will achieve weekly. I think I do have a new Wolves fan page. I'm just going to plug yeah. it real quick. Um, Go for at it. Mag Molyneux on Twitter. So it's like a Molyneux magazine. So it's mm. Wolves magazine. I mean, I would basically. plug the social medias and the website, but that's yeah, we're not really. Yeah, and I think uh, we're going to uh, we making a new website. WordPress. I just. I didn't we get WordPress free with The them. thing is with the website at the moment is I just can't be asked there. There's one I like it. I might get rid of the football talk. That that consumes the most time. The thing is that consumes the most time to be honest is the quiz. Yeah. And it's just annoying because you have to go through every find think of a question for each game. Yeah. Put the photo on, but I I do enjoy it to be fair. Yeah, but it's yeah. out of action until 
two weeks, I'd say. Yeah, same we'll with social branding. media channels. Like, yeah. but, but don't feel free to like if put you, in the comment section mm. if you want to be a social media manager. If you if you have any ideas, just just nearly video call them. Yeah, it? literally DM but us um, at Charlie Dot Griffo at Max Masavo, and that actually, we'll we'll get back to you. How do you know? I'm glad and, you know what to add. I don't. And like, we'll we'll. Yeah, we'll just follow us you. on Instagram. It, you don't need to like submit your CV or anything. Just oh no, and just literally say <laughs> we can trust you with the whole social yeah. media, and then we'll we'll just give you the details. Yeah, we we'll obviously want to make this a much give bigger you the thing. App we use to edit the photos, and then yeah, just do whatever you want. Yeah, okay, right, that's it. That's Thank a you. Wrap. All right, just Thank the two. You I think it went quite well. Listening. Just the two of us. Just yeah, the yeah, two of us. us. Yeah, yeah, that's a good song as well. Yeah, brilliant. Can't remember it's by. Neither can I, but. It's now by me, right. Oh, brilliant. Cheers, guys. See you later. Au revoir. Have a lovely weekend.